flower set. We'll put on the piano. A score. Event. Initiated by Brecht. 51 years ago. Boredom as a real problem is not that old. Within the Industrial Revolution and the progress of technology, prosperity, people gained more free time, and with freedom, the problem is born. What to do, what to make, and why? From my point of view, wrote George Brecht in 1964 in a Fluxus newspaper article titled Something About Fluxus. The individual understanding of fluxes have come from placing hands in Ayo's tactile boxes, from making a poem with Dieter Rhodes' poem machine, published in the Fluxus newspaper, from watching Ben Vautier's uh, string Alison Nowell's on the blue stool to objects in the room, and to the audience in Kosubi's Anima 1. The misunderstandings have seemed to come from comparing fluxes with movements or groups whose individuals seem to have some principle in common or an agreed upon program. In the experience generated by the flux kit and event pose problems for philosophical idealism in general and for mainstream art history in particular. Fluxus artists might be expected to have difficulty describing the bonds that link them to one another and to the context designated by the term art. George Brecht suggests that is indeed the case. So a quote by Brecht again, if he's not too busy with the flowers. In Fluxus there has never been any attempt to agree on aims or methods. Individuals with something unnameable in common have simply, naturally, coalesced to publish and perform their work. Perhaps this common something is a feeling that the bounds of art are much wider than they have conventionally seemed, or that art and certain long-established bounds are no longer very useful. Attempts to conventionalize or agree on aims or methods for fluxes that end embed individual experiences in a common structure merely generate misunderstandings. Maybe Fluxus is also about misunderstandings. Nevertheless, some members of Fluxus continue to be motivated by the long-established institutional and disciplinary boundaries that Brecht describes as no longer very useful. It's heel heftig, volgens mij. Don't worry about nothingness. We just spoke about boredom. Oh, okay. It's fine. Because I'm, I'm, I, I, I helped making make the program, and I'm already quite bored. Yeah, but boredom is good. Oh yeah, it's part of it. Huh? So I think where are we now? It's going to be salad soon. Entrance, oh. exit. I a smooth know. linear transition from white. No, and so I'm just reading it. I think the audience can read by themselves. No, but there's a. Is that feedback? Oh no, it's a work. I think. I think this is a work. Is this the work? Yeah. Oh yeah. I get it now. A smooth linear transition from white noise to sinus wave tone is broadcast. Title is announced at beginning and at end, but at end, title is announced by a tape player. Tape played backward, 1962. Oh, it's reversed realization by Martijn Tellinga. Mm -hmm. So, so this is uh, like uh, for formal audio. 
producer yeah. mentioned that this is formal audio or something? Um, what I have found here mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's I also know. also I know. George. Brett's Brett. entrance oh. exit is yeah. from 1962, and it was sophisticated. Yeah, sophisticated. Was it sophisticated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it sophisticated for that time? Computer-generated audio tape piece produced by James Tenney when we worked at Bell's Laboratories in New Jersey. What's Bell's Laboratories? Yeah, I cannot click on this term in the book. Oh. Uh, but it was in. Is it a famous laboratory? Yeah, in New Jersey. And well, no, but what is it famous for? Sorry for interrupting you. But Didn't what they is invent it? the telephone there? Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell? Yeah. Oh, so okay. they had like a laboratory? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the truth? Can I quote you as a journalist on the... Oh, yeah. Sure. So Whoever. it was sophisticated okay. and it was uncharacteristic as well of Brecht's normal a-technological quotidian disposition. Yeah, I so have a the disposition. So the entrance, because it's called entrance exit, the entrance consisted of white noise gradually changing toward yes. a cine. But I thought tone. white noise, a sign, sign, sign I, I thought white noise is like. Yeah, but there's a. You do there's white noise, man. Thanks. But a generator. consisted of the white noise gradually changing toward a sign tone chaos to order the exit was the tape played in reverse back to chaos and the piece was frequently used to frame fluxes concerts much in the way that the house lights book and bows of the conductor noise of the audience entering and welcoming applause eventually subside into the musical tone of the traditional concert and then reverse themselves as the concert ends and the audio leaves. So it was a kind of audio wallpaper sound. Right? Uh, okay. The piece was frequently used to frame Fluxus concerts, to frame them much in the way... I feel like all the concerts are like framing. Mm -hmm. Like they're not really actually doing something, they're just a frame. <laughs> okay. 